in-flight emergencies are often in situations that are unforeseen and can sometimes be unfortunate incidents. They are something that all pilots want to avoid if possible, but unfortunately there are times when a pilot may have no control over an in-flight emergency. In-flight emergencies generally lead to an immediate landing, so that would mean an emergency approach. Emergency approaches can be very dangerous situations um, if not handled correctly. In order to be a good pilot, you want to be able to react to these situations effectively in order to keep yourself, your passengers, and people on the ground safe. Some examples of emergency approaches or emergencies that could cause these approaches could be a engine failure in flight or a water landing. A water landing would probably be caused by a engine failure in flight, but it would require a different approach. In each case, you would want to immediately pitch for 68, your best glide, and you would want to um, immediately try and restart the engine. You would want to go through your flow, checking the fuel shutoff, checking your um, tank selector. You would want to um, rich in your mixture, turn your fuel pump on, and then try and restart. If this doesn't work, then you're going to have to shoot for an emergency approach. In terms of an emergency approach over land, you would want to pitch for 68, find the most suitable place to land, and immediately head for that spot. You would want to do that before you ever try and restart the engine. In terms of a water landing, you would want to do the same thing, try and restart, but you would want to figure out the wind direction, and if there are heavy seas that day, you want to land on the top of the wave parallel to the wind. Um, 